So today we are taking some conversions from the hello alkene and the hello arene. So my first conversion would be suppose we have to convert propene propene to propane one all. So if I want to convert propene to propane one all. So how can we do this? Yes. So here in this conversion, we can do first anti Markovnikov. So if you have the propene, so propane would be like this. Okay. So if we want to convert one all, so one all can be converted from the halogen. And how can you bring the halogen? So we can bring halogen with the help of anti Markovnikov. So here, if you have, if you are taking HBr, so in the anti Markovnikov, we always have to take peroxide. So that's why we have to take peroxide, and we can write also uh, anti Markovnikov addition, right? So Br is coming at the end, right? Whenever you are taking, uh, whenever you are conducting the anti Markovnikov. And the negative part is coming to that side where hydrogen number is higher or lesser where higher hydrogen number is higher. So it means at the end carbon. So it would be C B R. Right. B R is coming here. So now you uh, you want to convert into one all. So it means bromine is converted with the help of O H. Or you can say Br is uh, uh, substituted by the OH. So now you have to take aqueous KOH. So from the aqueous KOH, uh, your alcohol is coming to that side. Am I right? So Br is getting replaced by the OH here. So whenever you are taking aqueous KOH, so OH is coming. And whenever you are taking alcoholic KOH, so double bond is coming. So always remember that. So this is my first conversion, which is important for the next conversion is suppose if you have one bromopropane, one bromopropane is like this. So from this, but one bromopropane, you have to convert two bromopropane. So what would be the formula for the two bromopropane? So propane means three carbon and two bromo. So it means bromo group is coming at the carbon number two. So this is two bromo. So it means we have to convert two bromo propane from the one bromo propane. So how can we do this? Yes, guys. So this is very easy. Uh, if we want to convert the like we are bringing uh, Br at the secondary carb, uh, I mean at this second position and we have to remove at the first position. So of course, we, this is very simple. As I said already, we have to take KOH, right? Alcoholic KOH. So alcoholic KOH, what is, what it, what it is doing? So it is conducting the dehydrohalogenation, right? So it is removing hydrogen as well as bromine, which is halogen. So if we are doing the alcoholic KOH, then it is going to form double bond, right? So hydrogen is getting removed from this side and boron bromine from this side. So now uh, and we want Br to the uh, secondary carbon. So of course we should conduct anti Markovnikov or Markovnikov. So Markovnikov, of course. Why? Because Markovnikov said negative part is coming to that side where hydrogen number is less. Right? So that's why Markovnikov. So Markovnikov addition we are doing. And we are not taking peroxide here because peroxide is only used for the anti Markovnikov. Right? So Br is coming to this side only. So this is how we can conduct. Con now, suppose if you have given toluene. So what is the formula of the toluene? CH3 group over benzene. Right? So this is my toluene CH3 group over benzene and from this toluene you want to convert into benzyl alcohol. So from the toluene you want benzyl alcohol. So how can we make benzyl alcohol from it? This is my benzyl alcohol. 
so if you want benzyl alcohol from this so br should be added here right this is my benzyl alcohol oh no 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 benzyl means ch2oh sorry my bad benzyl alcohol it is not so benzyl alcohol means ch2oh so now how can we conduct this conversion we can do one thing so firstly uh, if you want to convert your alcohol so we know that whenever there is a halogen and uh, because the chapter name is halogen right so if we are uh, doing the we are conducting a reaction aqueous koh with the halogen then it is forming the oh so it means we want to bring halogen to this group so let's do the chlorination of that so if we are doing the chlorination in the presence of uv light then we are going to get benzyl chloride right so it will become ch2oh not ch2cl right because this is your a chlorination chlorine group is coming here and now when you are doing the aqueous koh here aqueous koh so koh is basically bringing the oh group right so finally you will get so chlorine is removed and oh group will come right so this is how we can conduct this kind of uh, conversion suppose uh, if a benzene is given to you okay and from this benzene uh, you want to convert uh, four bromo nitro benzene what is the meaning of four bromo nitro benzene can we say uh, if this is a bromo so at the fourth position nitro group is coming one two three four so this is the fourth position so four bromo nitro benzene or we can do the opposite also four bromo uh, nitro benzene because you can rotate the structure so this is four bromo nitro benzene so how can we conduct that if we are conducting nitration first then bromine will come at the meta position so it you will not get this product but yes if we are conducting the bromination first then of course it would be a ortho para directing so it means firstly we have to do the bromination so we are do doing the bromination fbr3 in the place down dark okay you have to place it in dark and now bromine group will come over here right so it is bromo benzene and now when you are doing the nitration so that would be ortho para directing so then no2 group will come at the ortho and para right bromine will come to this side it was already there and no2 group will come at para direction and at also at the ortho but ortho is not required that's why i'm not making it right this is very simple so remember with the help of br and nitration we can easily guess we have to do the bromination and nitration but which process to be conducted first this is the main thing so that's why i conducted bromination first so that it can it can uh, be the um, ortho and para directing for the nitro nitro group okay so if you want your nitro group to come at the ortho position so you have to conduct bromination reaction first right so now after that suppose the next question would be uh suppose you have the benzyl alcohol benzyl alcohol means ch2oh this is benzyl alcohol and from this benzyl alcohol you want two phenyl ethanoic acid so aliphatic is given preference to phenyl it means two position pe phenyl lagna chahiye so it would be around it would be something like two phenyl one ethanoic so it would be like that right one two two there is a phenyl group so this is two phenyl ethanoic acid so how can we make this uh, how can we conduct this kind of conversion ch2oh gives c c o h yes guys 
see in this reaction we can uh, see that uh, there is a alcohol group right so if we want to convert it into uh, oic acid which is cooh so we know that uh, we can only bring the cooh from the cyanide group right and cyanide group can be easily uh, taken uh, by the replacement of uh, cl so it means whenever uh, you see alcohol over here so and if you want to bring the chlorine group so of course you have to do the pcl3 or you can take pcl5 or you can do socl2 there are so many reaction so if i take if i conduct a reaction with a uh, pcl5 with this uh, benzyl alcohol so of course it is going to be converted into ch2cl right oh group is removed now as i told you uh, you have to uh, bring the COOH from the cyanide. So now just let's take the uh, SCN. If you are taking the SCN in presence of aqueous ethanol, ethanol, then uh, SCL is removed. A cyanide group will come in place of CL. So it would become CH2CN. And haven't I told you when we are doing the hydrolysis of cyanide? So hydrolysis of cyanide will give you the uh, this oic group, or we can say carboxylic group. So when you are doing the hydrolysis or H plus, or you can say H three O plus, then it will form the COOH, right? It is also a CH two. So it means, uh, firstly, I just conduct a reaction from the alcohol to haloalkene, haloarene. Then we are conducting a reaction with KCN in the presence of aqueous alcohol ethanol. So cyanide is coming and from the cyanide carboxylic group preparation is quite easy. Right? So we can conduct this reaction also. See, this is my next conversion. Uh, you have given uh, two uh, chloropropane and now you have to uh, convert it into propanol. Or you can say one propanol. So here, um, if we want to o convert into OH, so before OH, it should be one alcohol, right? Because from the, uh, I mean, it should be one halogen because we can easily convert halogen into alcohol with the help of aqueous KOH, right? And for bringing a halogen, so we can conduct a Markovnikov or anti Markovnikov, right? So for the anti Markovnikov or anti Markovnikov, we it 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 should be uh, alkene. So if I convert into alkene, right? Uh, so we have to take the alcoholic KOH, right? So if we are taking alcoholic KOH here, so Cl from there and H from here, so it is going to form the HCl, right? So we are doing the dehydrohalogenation. So double bond is coming here. Okay, fine. And SL is going to remove. Now we are doing, okay, we want at the end side, right? Because OH is at the end side. So of course we have to conduct the anti Markovnikov, right? So we have to take peroxide and HBr. So if we are taking the HBr, so it means Br is coming at the end carbon here like that, right? So it is going to be converted into one bromopropane. After that, so we want OH at this side. So now can do the aqueous KOH. So if we are taking the aqueous KOH, so KBR is going to be removed and we are doing the nucleophilic uh, substitution. So OH is coming here, right? So this is a very simple and uh, I guess we can solve such type of uh, question very easily right okay suppose if a reaction is given to you suppose if it is saying that there is one benzene benzene and it is saying that you uh, you have to convert into two phenyl so two phenyl look like that right so how can we make from the like two phenyl from the one benzene? Very simple. Uh, because so the, let's do the uh, bromination first. 
so bromine group will come at this side okay this is bromine right and now uh, conduct the fitic reaction you remember so fitic reaction is what when there is a one group so and you want to make it double so let's take the 2 na and it can become the two moles of uh, bromobenzene so 2 na br will automatically release right and the two benzene ring will attach like that am i right so first bring the uh, halogen and then conduct it with 2 na so this is known as the fitic reaction right so such type of conversion we can easily conduct right this is also very easy reaction suppose if you have given a chloroethene and from the chloroethene you want to convert into butane to chloroethene se butane kaise bana payenge hum how can we convert chloroethene to butane can i say we are actually doubling the number right carbon number is automatically is getting doubled so which reaction is better of course i guess you have heard about that woods reaction so if we multiply it by 2 then you have to take the 2 na right earlier reaction was fitic and now here we can conduct woods but we have to take dry ether right so 2 cl from here and 2 na from here so 2 na cl is automatically removed and right to and it is going to convert into directly rr right so we can say that to na and dry ether so we are going to convert into uh, i mean this reaction is known as wurz reaction right guys you know na wurz reaction if there is a rcl and if you are taking to na so to na cl is automatically going to be removed and you are getting rr right that's why the number is going to be doubled here any single doubt here this is very simple तो इस टाइप के कन्वर्जन्स आई गेस वी कैन इजली कंडक्ट एंड दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके समटाइम एंड द लास्ट कन्वर्जन सपोज इफ दिस इज गिवन टू यू दिस इज आल्सो वेरी इजी कन्वर्जन सपोज दिस इज गिवन टू यू इथेनॉल एंड दे आर सेइंग यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट इनटू साइनाइड सो इफ यू डू वांट टू कन्वर्ट इनटू साइनाइड देन व्हाट वी कैन डू ऑफ कोर्स एज आई सेड कैन वी टेक द रेड फास्फोरस एंड ब्रोमीन So if you are taking red phosphorus and you are doing the bromination, right? So OH is automatically getting removed and Br is coming. And now, as you know that we can directly take the KCN, right? So KBr will be removed and CN group is going to come. It's an all right. Suppose if they are asking the you have to convert the propanoic acid. So if this is CN, then we can do the uh, hydrolysis, yes or no? because a hydrolysis of cyanide is going to what it is going to form the propanoic acid am i right so from the uh, ethanol okay we can easily convert into the uh, propanoic acid i am removing the 1c because i want to convert into butane and i just wrote one carbon extra okay this is my bad sorry i just put uh, one extra carbon by mistake 